just by choice or by compulsion? Disagreement. I, I think it's by nature. Excuse the, the sun, the sun. The sun. Yeah. Yeah. Look, what I'm I'm serious to that. Bringing this up from here. Can you have a microphone on you? It's a Christian it's camera. Morality ah. question, isn't it? Yeah. Right. It's not a moral, immoral He's question. He's got behind you. He's no. going to yeah. you. You're famous. Um, I would not like to speak to these hecklers because they're a heckler. They will heckle the conversation, so you could tell them not to heckle. I don't know what is it, but... Yeah, give, just give this mic back and say, we're not interested in heckling conversations. <laughs> no, why I'm having this? No, no, right? So, coming back to your question, and no hecklers in, in, included in this discussion. We're no, not we interested. don't want all the heckling. We exactly, I agree with you, Matthew. When we say someone is independent, that means I make my own choice. See, if I want to make... If I want to lift this back as an independent, absolute entity, I don't have to listen to you. I don't wait, believe wait, wait, the wait, 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 son wait, wait, is independent. Wait. This lady said she was. Yeah. He, he was. I, I don't believe the Bible right. teaches that. He, he, what he could do, can I say, when he, could, when he was on the earth, he could do whatever he wanted. But he was. The earth. But please, they allow me to speak because I it's very unfair. Talk about the earth. That's why you are in, a, in, in this the deception. The problem <laughs> is, you Jesus are not willing you. to understand well, God as he is. Can I, can I say something? Yeah. Only if you don't bring the creation in. Uh, look at the um, Father the God mm -hmm. and uh, Jesus the Son. Yeah. And God used this for us to know that He is our Father and Jesus is like an um, example to us to follow, right? We're supposed to, as Christians, follow Christ. And Christ was the Son of God. He was obedient to the Father. Why He was obedient? Because He loved God. You're it preaching? was not, it was not, it was You're not, preaching. So I'm not of, preaching, so no, of preaching, let me ask you again, no, he, why? when you love why? your father, you will obey your okay. father, so he loved the father, he was with the father, you know, is he independent, you said yes, he, he could, he uh, when he was, when uh, he uh, was asking no, God to the father, he's going to trip you up, yeah, but you know, when, uh, when, uh, when Christ, is he, is he independent or dependent he, he on the father, he prayed to the father, and he had the choice, the same as uh, every person has got the choice, you can follow the darkness or you can follow the light, no, no. as God, yes, is the second member of the Trinity independent, or he was independent, yeah. Good. he was yeah, independent, if he's independent, but love, Wait, love wait. It's all about love. No, it's it's not about dependence and not dependence. It's, it's all about the love. It's important. The yeah. son, if he is independent, if he wants to lift this bag up one meter high from the ground, mm -hmm. does he need to talk to the father about it? He doesn't have to, but he did wait, ask wait, wait, about wait, the wait, wait, father God everything. No, this bag, everything. this bag. Yes. Yeah. If he's independent, what it means is he doesn't need to speak to anyone. Yes, that's what independent. But means. he what was loving means. towards the father. Right. He was loving towards Do the you father. Do understand what independent means? Of course, right. I am independent. The independent lady. Independent means the son does not need to consult the father to lift this bag one meter high. And he's able to do that because you affirm not only is he independent, but he's also all powerful. Mm -hmm. I am telling you now. Suppose the father wants to lift the same bag up at the same time two meter high. Because the father is independent, mm -hmm. he, doesn't admit, he doesn't need to listen to the son, and he's all powerful, he should be able to lift the bag two meters high. Question, mm -hmm. where is the bag going to go? They're not independent, that's the answer. The bag will go where Father the God wants it, yes, the son is but, the, yeah, but the son, yeah, the son okay. is all about the love and respect and unity with Father so the God. Let me give you the, let me give you the example. He it's like a, if he you have a good God. father and le, we both agree that so God, she means a one independent. God, 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 God. So you basically believe there's only one independent who is the father, not the son. I believe in, in Jesus, the, the He's Son. He's independent. I believe that. He is, yes. No, he was independent, but because he was loving and caring for the... for the um, He wanted to listen to his father, right? Yeah. It's like, you know, the same... We, uh, let me give you the example. It's like a, if you have a good father, who is smart, who is intelligent, who is loving, caring, the best father ever possible. Imagine that. That's the father God. So imagine you are a son of a father who is excellent in every way, right? So you will easily submit to that excellent father figure, right? And it's very easy to submit and love the father who is excellent. The same Jesus Christ. He was obedient to the father because he knew that father God 
is the only one. He is the truth. He is the loving, caring God. No of the people on this planet can love you the way that God loves you. Is the nobody. Father, is the nobody. Father possessor of all that makes God God. Full divinity. Say it again. The Father. Does he have fullness of divinity that makes him God? He's fully God, but there's the Son and the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. I am asking about the Father. Is he by himself fully divine? Is he God? The he's Father. God. Yes. He's God. He's the only person that's God. Yes. So the Son's God and the Holy Spirit's God. Is God, the Son. God can do anything. So he sent no, you agree his God Son. It, it, you keep it, saying it. Yes. And you, you, you know you, you, it's not true. Jesus is actually I, I know because, uh, uh, you know, for me, I experience God in my own life. Yes, so, so do I. So yes. let's come back so to ever, Christ. The Son of God, Yes. does he have fullness of divinity that makes him God? Fully divine and fully human, yes. Fully he was, yes. Fully yes. 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 Can you ask the Hector not to, to I can't hear because the Hector is. Does the Son <laughs> have fullness of divinity that makes him God? Are you love to debating women only? Can yeah, you not yeah. debate men? Do you debate us? Are you only up to debate women? Uh, maybe yes. Are you a woman? I'm a man. Then I can't debate you. So oh, you can't. Ah, okay. ah, so okay. now, ah, in this discussion, ah, in this discussion, ah, right? right men. So now, that's it. Do you see the heckling? That's why I didn't want to get involved with the heckling. So, if someone is God, think about it. Imagine you didn't hear about anything about Christianity, anything about Islam or you know Hinduism, Buddhism. The concept of God that you will agree with is a God that is self-sufficient, independent, absolute. Absolute means he's perfect in everything. Perfect in power, perfect in love, perfect in knowledge and so on. Now, if the Son is God, he can destroy anything that he wants. But he wouldn't do it against wait, the Father's wait, wait, will. Wait, wait, wait. He wouldn't do it against the Father's will. Give me will. up. No he can destroy anything he that could, he wants. He could, yeah. Because he himself is God. He can destroy the Holy Spirit. He can destroy the Father. He can destroy Buddha. He can destroy anything. He will wait, not wait, destroy wait. because he's a part of it. Wait, do wait. Does he have the power? Is he powerful? enough to destroy the father no because the father's god as well right that's why i'm asking you now yeah. this question does jesus have the power to destroy the he father no. destroy himself because father and him are one. he would never destroy because as i'm telling you would you destroy your loving uh, father god you is need love. to god is god love it's all, all about love, love. Now, i'm asking I'm you in principle <laughs> does he have the power to destroy his father in principle. No, he because you cannot father destroy father yourself. You so cannot destroy himself. yourself. No, you Jesus, it's the Father, it's are two distinct it's persons. Not it's not the self. You are not your father or your mother. You are diff different, distinct. But he's in him so, and him is in him. Does the son, and let me ask you again for everyone to reflect on it. Does the son have the power to destroy the father? No, because he is father of He's not God. Because God is all powerful. Yes. You have identified someone who's less than God. Yeah, but God can't do evil. Too. That's, That's kind of evil. That is destroying them. something which is within Why, his power and right. No, because if the Son is God... So you are now saying God, the Son, does not have the power to do certain things. He no, is not no, all no, powerful. He is not going to destroy himself because he said... Me and I will give you time to reflect and answer. A, that, Go on, take your time. That's not a real question. Why does the Son not have the power to destroy himself? You shut up and let me You shut up and let me hear You shut up and let me hear I can only talk to the lady because I can run my circles around her. You can't do that with us. That's why you're going on. I want to allow people to speak. No, we have a heck of a speech. Don't answer me. Is this your second or third? Are you the second or third? Or fourth? How old are you? Are you fourth? I am. Are you fourth? I would like to. I would like to. I would like to leave um, intellectual discussion, and we have to speak about our own personal experience with God. And God. God is a healer. God heal is healing so me from preaching? chronic illness. No, I'm not preaching. So I'm talking question. about my experience. Yes, yes, yes. God is healing me. Do you believe? Do, do you believe? I ask you a question now. I ask you a question now. I ask you a question now. Does he have the power? 
people. So he's not God. Then he's not God. Thank you very much. This, this conversation is boring. This conversation is boring. Can you have a God? No, we don't have to. We don't have to say that things about Islam. We can be respectful, right? Who is not all powerful? Um, there's certain things that God can do. Yeah. No, no. Can you have a concept of God in which God let's is powerful? Yes. Let's say no. he is powerful. There's certain right. things he can't do, if that's what you mean. Well, you're, like right hand. you're talking about a true God will be yeah. all powerful. We are starting I'm, this whole I'm discussion, conversation so from the wrong angle. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm we, we need to... Oh, uh, what about what about people who are who wants to who are here, are here who are struggling with depression? What about people struggling with bipolar? Yeah. What about people what suffering from anxiety? Depression? Do you want uh, who, do you want to be free from depression? Yeah. Do you want to be free from anxiety? Yeah. Do you want to be free from sickness? I agree do you want to be free? Okay, okay. Do you want to meet God of love and healing? Do you want to be healed? Do you want healing? What's your name? Do you want healing? Mimi. Mimi, I agree with you. The concept of God that you carry gives anxiety, depression. <laughs> yes. So let's talk about that. No, let's but, remove no, all the depression. Hang on. depression. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang I want to preach God of healing. I want to preach God of freedom, of deliverance. All the people in here, they are, a lot of people in here is in bondage. They are interested in hearing your preaching. The, are you, are you, what are you listening? Are you interested? Who is struggling with depression? Who is struggling with anxiety? Who is struggling with anxiety? Who is struggling with depression? Who is struggling with different things? Can he I bet himself? plenty of people, bro, or plenty of people, but they don't admit nature. it. They are ashamed to admit it. Saying. Yeah, the son they are ashamed. Destroy the father because it would go there are plenty of issues, sir. Nature. What right? Is nature? And the fact that he's, uh, they're both united. The father and son are united. Let me he's actually loving. finish. Let me finish. He's loving. That's develop, his nature. Develop your thoughts. In the same way that the son can't destroy the father because they're connected and they're both eternal. Just like God, and the you God you believe in, can't destroy eternal. himself because it's not possible. In the same way, the son can't destroy his father because they're connected and they're both eternal. That doesn't mean he's not God. It means okay. he's limited. Let but me, so is your God because your respond. God can't destroy himself. Let me respond. So he's limited. If you can say that, right. Let me yeah. Yeah. Who's clapping? Right. Two kick. clowns. Two, two, two clowns respond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. You're the One clown. Yeah, no. These two clowns will always have no, you. So now come and be nice. Why don't you okay. assert so you say them? Shush, man. When you I identify you a being yeah. or an entity, be nice. or so, you me. identify, you didn't agree with me. In fact, you, know. you had the same concern I did, that the sun is not independent. So you are now referring to what this lady, Mimi, believes in, an independent entity called the sun. If this independent entity is by himself self-sufficient, he doesn't need the father to be in existence. Wait, he's, wait, he's not self-sufficient on, on his own. That's they, what they, they you and I agree. They were, they were yeah. But because you are defending the lady's position, I'm not. Right. So now, so let's go back then. Because he's not self-sufficient. Why are we are speaking own, about things? It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. This God? discussion okay, doesn't yeah. matter. Because he's got a father and, and the Holy Spirit. Why can't he also be God? Because he's not self-sufficient. Do you think he's self out of his throne every two seconds Sorry? to come and speak to us? He rose from the dead. He's That's God. He's not self-sufficient. You know, this is intellectual discussion. We should speak about God of healing, God of deliverance, God of power. They're connected. Why can't they be free? And all be self-sufficient. Why? Why are you saying they can't possibly be God? George. George, I'm Mansour. Nice to meet you. Can you clarify? Jesus Christ, the second member of the Trinity, does he have a life of himself independent of the Father? No. Or the Father gave him life? The Father didn't give him life. The Father has eternal life. No one gave him his life. No one gave the Son his life. No one gave the Holy Spirit his life. They all have eternal life and no one gave it to any of them. The Son has either life by himself. Why? Give my options. Either the life of the sun is inherently possessed by the sun Let's without say. anyone giving him life, yeah. or the father gave him life. Which one? He inherit he exists as the father exists. Um, of his own cause, he is his own self-existent. He, he's not even causing his own existence. He's, eternal, he's existing and he cannot help but exist. He didn't cause it, he doesn't cause it. 
and he exists in the same way as the father exists. And he gives life. They, 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 he didn't get his life he from the, the father. That's, he that's so he has his own life. life. Right? He, is alive. he has he the is same alive. life his father has. He didn't does, get it from his father. Does he have the same knowledge? Yes. By himself? Yes. They don't need uh, to be. They'll yes, never be by themselves. They're connected. They're, they're, they're free. They're God. The Remember, of free. you have an entity called the Son, second themselves. member of the Trinity. But he's God. What you're confusing is. I am not confusing you. I believe you are. George, George, you need to clarify. Does the Son have knowledge inherently by himself and not from the Father? His Where knowledge is co-equal with the Father That's because they're both God. That's not my question. What is your question? Did he receive and acquire knowledge, knowledge from, from the, the father? father? No. Or did he possess knowledge by himself? He, because he is God with the Father, has knowledge and he and he knows just like he's in his exi existence. He's got existence because he possesses existence. He can't help but possess his existence because knowledge? he's God. Knowledge? And the same with knowledge. His knowledge is something he can't help but know, just like the Father can't help but know, the Son can't help so but know. So he has knowledge by himself inherently. No, he didn't inherit it. No, you're it's always no, been not, with him. It's a not, part of who he is. Inherit, inherently, no, no, meaning just by himself, no, without no. acquiring it from anyone else. He didn't acquire it from anyone else, neither did the Father. No, he wasn't. So Jesus' knowledge, or the second person's knowledge, is not received from the Father. No. Good. If he has a secret, can he keep it secret from the Father? No. No. They're all the one, they're all, they're all God together. They're, so now they're you have alone. a God, if he has a plan, he cannot keep a secret. That's right. The, the Trinity cannot keep they secrets from each other. each other. They, 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 it's not possible. And you say it's not possible because... Because they're, they're all co-equal in so all they, knowledge. So they do not have the power to keep it secret. <laughs> they don't have the power to keep it secret, no. But that doesn't mean why, he's not all powerful. They? In the same way that Allah can't destroy his own existence. That doesn't because, mean he's not all powerful. No, it just means it's this. not possible. No, Certain things Allah, he can't do. Look, look, look. Because by nature, Allah is ever living, everlasting. So is the God of the wait, Bible. Wait, wait, wait. Because of that, anything that contradicts this, we reject. We say no. Season to exist will contradict what we have affirmed. That is ever living, ever, everlasting. You say. Jesus, the second member of the Trinity, is all powerful, all knowledgeable. Yeah. So if he has a thought, he should be able to keep it secret. But you're saying, no, he can't. Not if he's co-equal with his father and with the Holy they're Spirit. It's they're not all, possible. All in agreement. It doesn't mean. It doesn't mean that this agreement. It doesn't mean. It doesn't mean that God can't exist as a Trinity. This agreement was it by choice? No, it's. It, you can't help it. It just is. You can't exactly. help it. It means none of them are God because they can't even help himself possessing whatever they have. Let's say, is Allah not God because he can't destroy himself? I just explained to you. Destroying oneself goes against the nature of what he is. And becoming separate from each other is not possible for the Trinity because they are all by nature connected. No, it's not possible. They're not connected. Why, why not? They are, and they are one. one. They are one. They are one. No, they are one. They are one. Why does Jeremy is shouting like that? Okay. Why now, is this not, not Do they have equal amount of knowledge? Yes. Are you sure about that? I believe, yeah. yeah. The Bible teaches that and I believe it, yeah. Does the son know that he's the father? The son doesn't think he's the father. The son knows the he's son not the know? father. Does the son know that he's the father? The son doesn't think he's the father. So he doesn't know he's the father. He's not going to know it because he doesn't believe it. He knows he's separate from the father. Does the father know that he's the father? The father knows he's the father. So the knowledge of the father is that he knows he's the father. Yeah. The son doesn't have that knowledge. He doesn't, he's not the father. Yes, he does. The he knows father. that the father's the father. The son. He just knows he got a different position. Wait, wait. That doesn't mean he's, he's, he's inferior in his knowledge. The son does not know that he's the father. Because he's, he's, not, the, he's not the father. He's not the father. All right, let me just ask you this. Knowledge is talking about. He's talking. I know what you're saying. To the father. This is called. This is called for you to reflect later. I, I don't need to no, reflect no, no. later. I you don't need to reflect on something stupid like that. Okay, what is the problem? I'm going to pray you. Okay, you're trying to say that because the son doesn't have. I am referring to. In philosophy, you just asked me a question. I'm trying to answer. George, George, in in, in academia, yeah. this is a problem of something. You know what that is? I know what you're talking about, no. and I'm trying to. The problem is spiritual problem blindness. Of indexicals. No, the problem of spiritual Have blindness. You heard about it? Yep. Spiritual so you blindness. Heard about it. What's so that? I don't know what you said. I'll tell you now. I didn't know what you said. Hecklers, try to listen and learn. 
Yeah. There's no, 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 uh, sorry, we, you, yeah. we, instead of answering the questions, we, we have to ask questions or we have to... You, yes, yes, exactly. Do you think... Do you think... What do you mean? Do you think... Do you think... Jesus Christ is worthy of... But that's why yes. I wanted to share a testimony, because there was a power in the testimony. Yes. He, yeah, because he's thinking about pushing his views instead of helping the people. We are here to help the people, not argue. Yeah? Sorry? If you want to preach, this is not the discussion. Yeah, but it's, not it's not preaching. It's not preaching. I'm not allowed. I am not allowed, I am not allowed to preach. I am as a woman. I am not allowed to preach. As a Christian lady, I'm not allowed to preach, bro. Okay? Yeah. When you say something, that's now. Yeah. That's why we should become Muslims. Three gods. No. Okay. Tell me why they're not three gods. Because the Bible says that there's there one no three God, but there's three oh, persons. Why does it say that? Well, it teaches it that. Say it. it says a right. good So, it does. For instance, have... 1 John 5, 7. There are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Son, and the Spirit. It's a forgery. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I, know. I don't believe it is a forgery, but even if it doesn't teach it there, it teaches it's it in other forgery. places. Okay, fair enough. Right. But it teaches it in other so places. Now, look, think about it. The Father is God. The Son is God, yeah. the Holy Spirit is God. Yeah. The Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Father, yeah. the Son is not the Holy Spirit. You do this every week, don't you get tired of this? Excuse me. He he does does every God. Week. God. Why are there not three gods? There are no three gods, there is only one God. I don't want to talk to you, bye-bye. Uh, no, why? Why you don't want to talk because to you? Because you're a huh? Why? 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 There is no why you, why you don't allow people you don't to speak allow about speak? power of God? Is Allah having power to heal? Yes. Yes? Why are there not three gods? How, how Allah is healing? Ah, Answer me, how Allah is healing? Allah heals the heart by removing this oppression. Can he heal the illness? I am telling you. Yes, I'm listening. Allah heals the heart by removing the oppression of your brain in which you believe three gods. That like a surgery. One one. So, when you believe the Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God, tell us why are there not three gods? Because they're all co-eternal. But why, is, why are you why are you why are you, why are you answering? Why are you following? Because it's relevant. Yes. It's relevant. It's relevant. They work in Rel unity. They work in no. unity. It's not. But we are going it's to the same God. topic. We are arguing. It's not. It's not. That's why I said we have to speak the power, the power of the testimony. She can talk. This is a debate. She can say whatever she wants. I can talk. There's a public corner. I can talk. When did you ever need to talk? No, you can say whatever. Because you are asking everybody. I don't want to talk to you. You are talking in public. I don't want to talk. In public. No. no, no, no. If you're going in public, I think that anybody can answer. Yeah, I think the, the thing of it is, yeah, you, uh, the we should not argue. Our we should not argue. information about God come from the scriptures, yeah? So your if information, said, your, your George, information George, comes from the Quran, and that's what you believe. If a scripture said God is a potato, that's sufficient, right? Not for me. Good. No. So it's not about what a scripture says. Yes, but so you take your doctrine from wait, scripture. Wait. You get your doctrine from scripture, if from the script, Quran. If your Bible said God was a potato. Would you believe that if the Quran said it? One second. If your Bible said God was a potato, yeah. would you accept you it? Would you accept it? No, I'm, asking you. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Answer me and I'll answer you. No, no, I'm asking you this question. Okay. Okay. If, my God, if the Bible said that God was a potato, question, no I question yeah, whether this was truly part of the scripture. Exactly. This is what I would do the same. So now, why would the question? In Quran 354 it says, Allah is the best of the deceivers. Two questions, no answer. Why would the question? Quran 354, Allah is the best of the deceivers. Because um, I know that a potato is a part of creation and God that? is not. Can you answer that? So yeah. now you I, did, I didn't know that. Huh? I didn't it's know that. No. It says to be believed Allah is the best of the deceivers. It doesn't and make sense. In Bible so let's him, let him answer Wait, that. In Bible it, it says God sense. does not deceive or tempt no, any to no, sin. No. Yes. So, okay, let him discuss that. You can't understand how God can be eternal and have no beginning. So if somebody believes God, so if somebody believes God is a potato by faith, it's okay. But if somebody believes God didn't have a beginning by faith, like, that is wait, okay. Wait, wait. George, yeah. George, Matthew yeah. and Mimi, if somebody has a scripture and it says God is a potato, would you say that's the truth? You need to, if, if you say, if you say Allah is a potato, you need to research you, and do that, get the truth out, okay? No, would you say believe in that? First of all, if Allah I is a not, potato, you need to find out. Would you accept it? I, I would no. not would discuss these topics because it's silly. silly. It's silly. It's silly. What, I, what I want, God...
protection of God is such that there was no freedom, there was no freedom. I believe that. He doesn't allow me to speak. Not begotten, not born, not begotten, does not give birth. That's right, I believe that. nothing like it. That is against the Christian doctrine. But I want him to answer this, you know, because I don't know Quran. Why are you Muslim? Because I believe that there is in Quran, in Quran 61. Abraham and David and Solomon and Jacob and Moses preach that God was multipersonal? Yeah. Well, David said, the Lord said to my Lord. Yes, I just came with Paddy. That's why he's talking to And if you look at him, he only looks for God is multipersonal. I don't follow him. A discussion like that doesn't make sense because we need to bring the power of God, not arguments. I don't want to argue with Muslim people. Why I should argue with them? You have to pray for the healing. They will be healed. They will come to Jesus. Why we should argue? God is healing. Jesus is healing power. Do you see this camera? Why? Yeah. Do you see this camera? It's their business to have Christian women. They want to have these guys that are the preachers of Islamic culture. They want to have videos of you or the Muslims saying, you know, this is what they're doing to a Christian. But it doesn't make a difference. That's their business. That you don't necessarily read about in the Old Testament. But there's no difference. That's why he doesn't want to talk to me or somebody else. And doesn't want to answer any questions. He won't let you speak. He won't let you speak. He is telling me that I'm preaching. I, I want to share my life and my testimony, is, not preach. That is their tactic, you know. This is how I am not allowed to preach. I alone am God and there's not. You, you're taking the mic of a heckler. Oh, is it? Okay. That's the heckler. Well, we're just going to get the truth out. Right? I'm going to gonna have to go with both waiting anyway. So if God says, I alone am God and there's none else, yeah. who's this I? He's God. not. He's not contradicting him, himself there because this I in Trinity? God. the I is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. As God, they are an I. As persons, they are we. Do you believe the Trinity as a whole speaks as a person? I believe so. Yeah, they can be united in what they say, so they can speak as one. If you go back and study and come back another time, the Trinity is not a person. You don't believe in four persons. No, but the God. three trinities are God, equally God. Hear me out, George. The Trinity is not one person. The Trinity consists of three persons, yeah. but the Trinity itself is not a person. No, true. So it doesn't speak. But when he's when God said, what, what was the verse you just said? George, that I got? In, in Isaiah. And what's the what's the verse? In Isaiah, when yeah. God says, Yeah, but speak. I, I am God. Right. Before me, there was no God form. Okay. After me, that could be any one of the Trinity speaking. God. Yeah. There is the problem. Why? If because if the Father said, I am God, and then the Son said, I am God, and then the Holy Spirit said, I am God, none of them would be contradicting themselves. They're you know, all the same God. Do you know what it says? If I alone am God, there's none else. Who's this I? That's right. Imagine I, the, the, the Son said I am. that. I am that I Imagine am. Imagine the Son yes. said, I alone am God. Now we have the Father. Can I ask a question? Son, one, moment, one, question? one moment. Yeah. Imagine the yeah. Son said, it's the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Son is saying, I alone am God and there is none else. Yeah. When you Exclusively removing the Father and the Son. Yeah, I think I know what you're saying, but I think the thing... Follow me? Yes, I do. Well, I think the answer to, to your question from my point of view is that the Father, Son and Holy Spirit are all connected. So when one says I, in a certain context, it would be all of them saying it. That's all I would do. I know what you're saying, it's a good point. Take care. Who's this? Who's this? Give it to me. All right, take care. Can you answer one question for us, please? Jesus Christ, Moses, and Abraham, and ask you to come back to the worship of the God of Abraham. Okay, I'll, I'll think. Is, is, that, is that Allah? Is that Allah, Mansur? Why does Allah have two right hands, Mansur? You give me my hand. She already has one, right? No, no. I put one on her before. If I said. I am not here to tell about personal experiences. Well, no, we were, we were but I'm oh, interested because I would, I would want to. I'm not gonna give my life to Allah. Ah. If Allah didn't change your life. He, he, he didn't make it better in any way. If somebody yeah. says, if somebody says, I was reading Harry Potter. Your wife in, in, in you know what Harry Potter is? I don't read this. Allah those who engage in the war. I don't read this. Somebody said, Harry Potter changed my life. Does that make it true? It no. uh, it might be the, uh, people are deceived by what they Does read and what it they true? wrote. Something change your life. It oh, might be true for the person who is doing that, but, but it's not no, no. true in no. uh, it, for it, God. Does it necessarily make it true? Well, no, it doesn't. What? But it what, doesn't. Uh, it does it necessarily okay. make it true? What she's saying is, 
If I want him to contribute as well. When you question why are you after her? 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 When did you feel when you worship the true God, your life will be changed for good, not for bad. When did that moment happen? When you trusted him? When we, when I and we meet and understand about Allah, your heart and your mind will be at synchronization. It will not contradict your heart and your because you would know that this universe can only be created by a God who is independent, self-sufficient, one and only. That is Had, out there by himself. I, I'm answering. Hear my experience. So the God that your heart and your mind can accept and be tranquil and content and happy and set is when you know that that God is absolute. Not a God who is dependent and needy, not a God not a who is... Ah. What about the saver? Can I just ask you something? In Quran 354, it says Allah is the best of the deceivers. Yeah. Why does it say like that? Did you, did you, did you Why does it say like that? Allah is the best of the deceivers. In Bible it says, in Bible it says, in Bible it says God does important. not deceive anyone and so God does not tempt anybody to sin. I think this one's more important. Um, Allah is the best uh, of the what's deceivers. His name? What's his name? In Quran 354, Allah is the best yeah. of the deceivers. You are a wall behind another wall. No, yeah. a, wall of, a wall for you <laughs> answering this question. We want an answer. Everything, everything. So Allah now, is the best of the deceivers. Now, do you read uh, Quran? Uh, no, do you cannot you read, No, no, he's not talking, he's just saying. Stand oh, up. He's trying to be a bear. So, Matthew, you ask me a question. Quran 354 says, Allah is the best of the deceivers. In the Bible, it says, God cannot read. God cannot read. He's listening, he's listening. He's listening, he's listening, he's talking. Our heart and our mind will be content and tranquil when we know that God is absolute, self-sufficient, independent. So when we know that this universe can be under the control of one of those absolute beings, not three, not three, then all your diseases of your heart and your mind will leave you. You will have a sound heart, a sound mind, a sound intellect, and your life will be full of happiness, rest, and your life will not be of one of anxiety, like I can see here clearly, and depression, like I can see here clearly. Why is Muhammad depressed? He wants to kill himself. Why did Muhammad want to kill himself? Because why not? My why heart not? No, why did Muhammad want to kill himself? Mansoor, it is so Mansoor, why don't you answer why? the question? Because Mansoor, why don't you answer you know the question? You you know why did Muhammad want to kill himself? You know where you're going. Absolutely. But Muhammad did you have a demon in him? Did he meet a demon in the cave? Your heart tranquil. Muhammad thought he had a demon in him. Your heart is shaken a bit in this discussion. That was your experience. Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. Allah is a deceiver. Muhammad is possessed by a demon. I tried. I don't even feel like I need to win. I don't even feel like I need to win. I'm happy to win. It's not winning. It's not you have the heart to the truth. I don't care. Look, I know the truth. So I'm, I'm not really feeling it's like true. I can lose. Something you need to say sense. how Jesus set you free. That's like truth makes what sense. made well, you I, change your that's life? Make sense. You know? I believe. Before you say believe, yeah. in the, in the, in no, the no, divine no, encounter no, of the Holy Spirit, I believe in that. One moment, I will hear. Absolutely, go ahead. That's truth has to make sense. Truth has to make sense. What if, but my truth doesn't even make sense to you because you saw. No, no, no. See to you. To you. To you, because That's he, he was uh, he was probably sense. never in a point in life that he needed God. What was your God. life like before you came into we yeah. came into your faith? Wait, 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 wait. 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 That's I was a career have criminal. To make sense. No, you, you have to answer the question. What happened in your life? What Get lost, you Hitler. No, no, come on, come on, man. Man, so be nice. Man, so be nice. Why is there a deceiver? Did you feel like you had a deceiver? Why are you so? Why is your father deceiver? Why is Muhammad community? Ask the question. Let's be honest. That's truth. That's truth. Have to make sense to you. Of the it has to make sense to you for you to question. accept it. It's Does true. he like Absolutely. to deceive his people, Allah? I'm going to ask you one last time. And if you don't want to answer, that's fine. It's not that you, Did you answer any question we asked you? We are asking you. Can you answer a question? Mansur, Those are, are the philosophical questions. Okay. I'm asking you about. I'm asking you about your personal experience well, with God. Well, well, I want to know. Why do you know where you're going? Why do you know where you're going? But
I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. How come you know where you're going? What makes you any different? The reason why. No, you can't answer that question. No, no. The reason why I am not willing to continue the discussion is because you're not sincere. Oh, bless him. I'm sorry you feel that way, Mr. I do feel that way. I'm glad to. I'm glad to. How many times have you asked me a question? Can I ask you a question like this now? Were you born a Muslim? Were you growing in the faith from the childhood? I know, I'm asking you a personal question. I will answer. Yes. Provided that you answer this question one. Ah, see, he won't uh, answer unless you answer. You've what? been answering Good, all day. Answer You've been answering all day. Please no. answer it. No. Like, no. well, if truth, I met you, truth, if I met you in my workplace and you are the, you are you want to share Allah with me, answer, I will use my personal experience. Just like somebody comes from this very potter. You are very intellectual. You agreed. I agree someone, that you are a very clever man. Someone, I do. <laughs> someone reads yeah. Harry Potter That's all you do. and changes their life. It I want to know your personal to. relationship with God. I want to know your personal I have experience with God. A direct relationship with God better than any yes. Christian. No, you, you know, don't. You didn't, you don't you didn't know receive the spirit. Is your God a spirit? Is no, your God a spirit? A Christian let's not is God judge. a spirit? Let, no, stop it. Stop it. Christian. I want to I want to know you as a person. I want to know your experience with God. Yes. I'm telling you. I'm asking you, were you born a Muslim? Yes. Okay. Were you born in this country? No. Where were you born? Doesn't matter. I'm asking, where were you not, born? not important. No, but you are For me it is because I want to meet you, I want to build a relationship, I want to build uh, a rapport with you. No, no, He's from you Pakistan. He's a build Pakistan. a relationship Are you ashamed of the mind. country you're coming from? He's no. So where are you from? Yeah, I'm not interested. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, so you were, okay, okay. okay. you were born I, I will as answer. Muslim. I will answer. Yes. How much money do you get as a salary? Please, not by ear. Okay. How much wages do you get as a salary that you work? How, work? How much money do you get? But why wages? are you asking me about the wages? We want to get personal. How much money do you get at the end of the week? But I, you know, she's not here like you. You're a dying. She's not. We want to get a personal. No, we she's build not. A she's not a but you're you are here for money. How much money do you get? You're not here for the money. You're asking. You are here for money. Do you see the problem? We answer when we are ready. It is irrelevant. Do you agree? It's yeah, irrelevant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much money no, I get, no, how much money you get, is irrelevant. It's irrelevant. I'm not interested. I don't need to know how much money you make. Money for God is not important. No, 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 for no. me as a Christian, for money is not... How much money for, do you for, for... What's he's the... insulting you. That's all he can do. Is I'm not insulting. That's all. I want to know. No spirit in you. It does not in you. Because so when you lose the debate, no, no. that's what he does. I, you know, well, you I don't want to. You just want to. I don't want to. I don't want to argue you. with you. you want to be I don't. Listen. I don't. Please, but I can't speak. My whole, my throat is dirty. I want to. When I meet someone, I want to build a rapport with the person. So I don't need to force Christ and my religion, my views on other people. I hate world religion. I hate religion. You know. I'm even a to say about Christianity because there is so much stigma attached to Christianity including like yeah, the churches church. that de destroy the image of God so when I when somebody is asking me about my spirituality my experience with God I say I follow the Bible I follow the teachings of Jesus Christ I belong to Christ and I follow Christ and I don't need to tell I belong to this church or that church I follow God and I leave God and I don't need to speak People right. around right. me right. observe me. So if somebody's happy with that, they see, oh, that's, she is that's, honest. That's yeah, yes, they see, they see she is honest. She is not yeah. drinking. I'm not drinking. I'm not doing drugs. I'm not sleeping around. I pray for my husband. I wait for my husband uh, to come to me. I worship God only. Yes. I don't worship people. Uh, listen, I don't worship money because there is God of money. Who do you worship? I worship God. Do you worship the sun? I worship Holy God. You don't know I worship that. God. Do you see the problem now? I wo listen, I Something worship God. That is the most crucial thing in your life. Because God gave you as a purpose in your life. Yes. And if I ask you, okay, who do you worship? Do you worship God the Son and the Holy Spirit? Of your praise, yeah. of your praise. You know, uh, if you understand the Trinity, you know. So, so do you my, worship the Holy Spirit? I give my life to Christ. Do you worship the Holy Spirit? Can I speak? Can I speak? Can I speak? The answer is yes, I do. No, I don't. Can I speak? No, the answer is yes, I worship. No, I don't worship. That's what he wants to hear. That's all he's here for. That's but I want people to. Uh, no, 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 no. Is there a third option? 
My but question, you are you only asking me. I want to speak. Do you worship the Holy Spirit? Has Yes, I worship the Holy Spirit. No, I don't. Worship all of it. All, all of it, yes. yes. I worship uh, yeah. Father, Father Son, God, Father the Son, yes. and Father the Holy Spirit. Father the Holy Spirit. Sorry, not Father the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. And who did Holy, Christ say should worship? Can I, can I say? That, that, that was when he was here Who did on earth. Christ yeah. say? He said, said the Father. Said the yes, father. When, uh, when Jesus was on the earth, he, he was worshiping the Father. And like I said, he had a relationship with the Father. What did he say to you? Who did you worship? Who should you worship? The Father. The Father. But you said you worship the Holy Spirit. Okay. Yeah, listen, because when Jesus was taken, when he's gone up, can I speak? When when Jesus was taken, he resurrected. He was taken. I believe in um, Jesus. Am I right? If that Allah, he didn't die. If that Allah. People who should work, who you should worship. Yes, and he tells yes, you, I agree. He tells yes. you, worship the one who is in heaven. Yes, the Father only. And I yes. came from and heaven. Instead, he said, I come from heaven. Then he went to be joined yes. with the Father. And he said, he, he came from heaven. Fight. Who comes from heaven? Only Anyone God else? comes from heaven. They don't worship the Father only. Jesus said he came from they heaven. They associate a part of Jesus said he they came from heaven. We worship not only the Father, as you are saying. Mansoor, Jesus also said he came from heaven. The Holy Spirit. But please don't shout because I can't hear him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not right. That's what he meant. And he's heard this. He's in trouble. But I can't, fo I can't focus on the when question. Don't you get it? Masoor, don't, Masoor. You get it? don't you get it? Why don't you She's answer telling the question? You stop. Why don't you answer the question? Masoor, why are you kind of answering questions, Masoor? Just tell him to shut up. Why are you such a coward, bro? No, God is not allowing that. These Christians give a bad image to all you want. That's all you want to do. Talk to women. These Christians give a bad image to all you want. Why do you want to get talk to women? Why do you want to go to ask women? Masoor, do you see the point of view? Jesus Christ comes no, no, no. on this earth no, no, no. to tell people no, 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 no. Father God, yes, oh, and yet he is pointing out to the Father God. Yes. Yet, mm -hmm. in practice, what do Christians worship? Do they worship the Father only? We worship the Godhead, don't we? They don't worship the Father only. Jesus says, you should worship only the Father. Yeah, but that's what and Christians, idea. instead of listening to Christ, who do they follow? When you say God, it only means But you know, um, this is what you don't understand. Uh, that when Jesus was taken, um, and I think uh, because I'm sorry, I didn't read Quran, so I that's why I'm asking you questions. When she spoke, I was asking you the question about this particular verse from Quran because uh, I'm, I'm leaving this because I want to talk about the Trinity. So uh, when Jesus was taken, he died on the cross for our sins. He was he resurrected. Yes, he was taken, and he said to his disciples that they wanted him to stay because he was if you agree he was making miracles he was praying he was casting out devil devils he was uh, doing miracles and apostles wanted him to stay right so he said it's better if i go to heaven that's what the bible says because then when i will be gone i will send you the spirit he as a christ he was in a body he was a god in the form of the person he was a human on the planet yes so he had limited power, not limited power, sorry. He had limited abilities, for example, to travel. He could travel, he could show people that he will be coming in one place or another, but he was in a form of a human, in a human. So he said, it's better that I go to heaven, to my father, because then I will send you the spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit has no name. Why? Why Holy Spirit? Because there is a Jesus, there is the name of Jesus, and there is a power in the name of Jesus, yes? So, the Holy Spirit, yes, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is the Spirit. So, if you give your life to Christ, and you uh, repent from your sins, the Holy Spirit, you baptize the Holy Spirit, so Holy Spirit is living inside of you. When Holy Spirit lives inside of you, He is teaching you, He is guiding you, He is directing you. Example, he's he giving you gifts. Is the Holy Spirit directing you to the worship the Father only? 
Of course he is directing you to worship the Father. Yes, yes. Let me ask you, yes, all the questions. Yes, yes. He, you can only worship through the Holy wait, wait, wait. Spirit. So let me ask this question. Yes. Do you worship the Holy Spirit? No, you worship through no, the Holy Spirit. No. That's why Holy Spirit has no name. It says Holy Spirit. He, he okay. doesn't have any name. Me, so all the glory is me, going to let me, Jesus. Let me rephrase my question. To, to, no, sorry. All the glory is going to, to Father the God through salvation through Jesus Christ. I will rephrase my question. And you have the power, you know, if, when you receive the Holy Spirit, okay, you have the power. You touch people, you pray for healing, people are healed. You deliver. God will give you. the Father, that's when he was here on earth. Do you have the gifts of the Holy Spirit? When you have the, praise God, yeah. What the gifts I, I, have you got? Do you pray for healing or healing. deliverance? For, for, for healing, yeah, for yeah. healing, yes. Yeah. When we receive the no, gifts no, of I, the Holy I Spirit, understood. we have like, a power, question. not my power, but power from the Holy Spirit. We have the power to heal, we have the power to cast out devils. God will tell me this man has got this demon in him. So and we can deliver it. Yes? Can you take the demon out of him? Can you take the demon out of him? Amansur, you got too many demons. She can't take all of them out. We all we all we all were, we are all subject to the devil. We are all subject to the devil. We are all oppressed. We have one enemy, which is devil. Let me ask you this question. Is the Holy Spirit worthy of worship? Well, no, it, 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 no, you, no, you don't worship Holy Spirit. No, no, no. Holy Spirit is live. We don't I worship Holy Spirit. We can't worship without the Holy Spirit. I am not asking you this question. The Holy I'm asking you this That's all you want to do. Is the Holy Spirit worthy of worship? <laughs> Sorry? Is the Holy Spirit worthy of worship? Holy Spirit don't have a name, so we don't worship Holy Spirit. I'm all glory is coming to I God. I don't ask you that all question. All glory is coming to God. Is the Son worthy of worship? Yeah? Amen. You worship him? I love him because he's my savior. He That's saved my, my life. He changed my life. You make your request known to your father. If, yeah. if you want to make a prayer, you pray to the father. Him. No, you're worshiping him. You worship him in song. You worship him in your heart. He's worthy of worship. Do you worship the son? Amen. Yeah. You worship Amen. Yes. Do you worship when you worship one, you worship all. We love They're Jesus because when Jesus changed God, my life. It he delivered me from the oppression of the enemy. He released me from depression. He released me from social anxiety. He released me from multitude of Everything else in front of any question. Because that's the most important. That's no, the no, why no, those no, people no. are here. Why you are here when listening me, to this? Me, me. Why you are here listening to this? No, are you seeking God? Are you seeking no, God? No, I'm asking. Why no, are you no. here? Why are you listening me, to me? this? Okay, I'll, I'll why? Maybe, maybe. Read this, read this. So, no, so, I don't me, want to read now. What is it? God had so, that he doesn't believe in that, isn't it? No, I know. Do you but worship, it's, it's spiritual. Do you, you worship know? the Son, second member of the Trinity? This is I love Jesus. Jesus is my love. I have, I love. I have two questions. Yes. Do you love Jesus? Yes. Good. You answer the question. So don't answer it again. I'm not going to ask that question again. Yes. Do you worship the Son? When you, we, we do worship the Christ. Do you worship Do you worship what? Yes, I worship Jesus. What did Jesus say who should worship? God. Because the Father, because He is God. Jesus is God. Jesus says worship the Father, and you worship Jesus. Imagine Moses no, comes to remember, wait, wait, he wait, 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 as the wait. Lamb and Rose as a lion. Imagine, imagine Moses comes to the Jewish people, mm -hmm. and he says, worship Yahweh, and these people, instead of worshiping Yahweh, they worship Moses. How would you feel? It's uh, idolatry to worship a human. No, no. But Jesus no, was no, no. not. A, 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 he was in human flesh, no, but he was not human. He is God, God manifested himself in Jesus. Jesus says, as a human. God worship. manifested himself. Someone Father else. manifested himself in Jesus. Him. So they him. both are one. Because the Bible says uh, that we have to serve everything we do is in the name of Jesus Christ. What we have Jesus the Christ we have Holy, we have the Holy Spirit okay, I think that is giving us anywhere. the power. Yes. I think it is it, it, come to a halt. He said that word. Jesus, that word. That's while he was in the flesh on earth. No, no. Let's then we, he was he was fully up. human. When I'm he was not on earth. To you. You're not only, only uh, because you're not, you're, you're not letting her answer. You're not letting her answer. You are talking, 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 and going you, no, no, you know what? I, you know what? You know what? I'm interested in. I'm interested in change. I'm interested in progress. I'm interested in. I'm interested in truth. I'm sorry. Be as well, brother. We can shake hands. I don't shake hands. Don't mind. Okay, I have a question. Don't shake hands. I respect that. I have a question. So, the truth is. God tells us who Christ is in the Quran and his relationship between 
him, his people, and God. Mm -hmm. God tells us very clearly Christ is a messenger, no more than that. You should only worship. And God. Muhammad was I not agree. I agree wait, wait, with the fact that he wait, was a messenger. Wait, wait, yes. Yes. Quran tells all people of the scripture, they come, let us reason together mm -hmm. in a common ground. But we worship none but God. Who saw? None but Who saw Muhammad God. receiving God? No, no, no. God no, you worship God. No, God. No, no, was no, you worship God and His Son and something else like a Holy because Spirit. Because it's, it's one. Yes. But that's not how yes, Abraham, right. Moses, David said that. They all said, God is Trinity not. Trinity is present in the Old Testament There's everywhere. No but God. you cannot see God it. God is not like anything. Because you don't study so the Bible. If you like read in Quran, you memorize the Jewish like understanding of God. You will realize their understanding of God, the Islamic understanding of God, is essentially one God, universal. This God has no, like, like a human body or something like this and so on. He's God, worthy of worship, independent, absolute, almighty. Later on, something comes along, somebody says, God is a brother and an uncle and a sister and a mother and a wife. He will say, what are you talking about? This has not been taught by any of the prophets of God. So I urge you to look into the Quran and you will see where our disagreement is. I want to read Quran and uh, that's why I wanted you to answer the questions about this. Do you want a copy of the Quran? If you haven't got I can get a copy from you. Yeah, I want, yes. Okay. Okay, Mimi. You have to read the Thank Quran you. to do. Yeah, I want to read uh, to, and, to yeah, debate um, with them. Otherwise, they won't understand. Just scriptures, and I wanted things. I wanted things to be like clear and to clarify certain things. And obviously, if, I can't if, uh, just think about th it because I didn't question. read. Okay. Do you accept the Hindu book, say the Veda, to be divinely inspired? No, no, we don't. Right. They came before the Bible. Hello, hello. Ah. Why don't you accept that? Why? Because they are because not, I not met, the truth. Uh, I met uh, living. I met. Thank you so much. I met living God. I met. I met God who changed my life. I gave my life to God, and He changed my life completely. Yes. Is it possible? I'm coming from uh, is it possible? from sickness, from illness, from depression, from anxiety, social anxiety. I was afraid to leave my house. I couldn't get up from bed. I was bed bound. Jesus you, Christ is the healer. He sure. healed me. When he delivered me from me, this. When and I am set free. I can understand. So I want to share that. I want to share God of healing. Mimi, when you accept Allah as your only true God, accept Moses, Jesus, Muhammad as the messengers of God, peace be upon them all, it will set you free from the worship of the creation, worship of prophets and messengers, worship of angels, worship of your own self and your own ego. You will free yourself, no anxiety, you'll have content in the heart. Ask any Muslim. I have Muslim friends and I discuss ask, this thing with them. them. Yeah. When you yeah. read the Quran, when you remember Allah, how do you feel? They will say, our hearts are so content. The tranquility and content that you have in Islam when you become a Muslim, mm -hmm. you realize you lose nothing. You don't lose Christ as the messenger so, uh, of God. When I become a Muslim, you I become a terrorist or not? Moses you tell as me the messenger that, of God. You gain them all because Shall these I become are all a prophets and messengers of the same God. Mm -hmm. What so, happens is, um, are, are all these messengers uh, equal, like Moses, Jesus? We make no Jesus. distinction between them. The Quran says us, okay. Okay. We make no distinction between them. God has favored some of the others. Like God spoke to Moses directly, but he hasn't spoken to every prophet directly. So some prophets and messengers, God has speci specific privileges. It's, so, uh, it's, Jesus is a prophet has specific privilege or no? No, no, I'm saying, some prophets, mm -hmm. God has you know, given some fathom. This differentiation over the others is up to God. It's up to God whether if God takes one of his prophets from this earth to all the way up above the seven heavens to God himself and then has a discussion, a personal one-to-one -one discussion. So, okay, this is my revelation to you. Not all prophets had that discussion. Prophet Muhammad wasalam, was taken from this earth do you believe in Islam that you uh, you can hear God by reading Quran? God is yes. speaking. The okay. Quran is unadulterated, unchanged. But do you have personal relationship with God? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. This personal relationship is so close. Mm -hmm. God tells us He's closer than our jugular vein. You cannot get any so why in Quran it says in other religion, 839 in engage other religion, them in the war. Listen, David. You have Kill to go the infidels. To middleman. In you Quran 572. Man, like in Christianity, Jesus Christ says, no one goes to the Father except through me. He's the middleman. 
to us, you don't need a middleman. What? You go to God directly. You say, God. You don't say, oh, Jesus, can you ask God X, Y, and Z? You don't do that. That's indirect relationship. The direct relationship is when you ask God and God answers you. Can I ask so you are going to heaven or hell? Uh, do you, for example, in, um, like when you're meeting, yes, gathering in mosques, do you, uh, are your leaders, uh, for example, uh, praying for healing for people? Like how, how do you see healing in Quran? When you are in any distress mm -hmm. and you stand on, in prayer, mm -hmm. your heart and your emotions, they are tuned back to reality. Mm -hmm. yeah? God tells us the mechanism how to heal. So there are times when we will be grieving. Mm -hmm. We will be emotionally upset and so on. But there's a mechanism in which when we remember Allah, when we stand with patience When you trust Allah, God, yes? No, no. Trust, mm -hmm. rely, trust, mm -hmm. and you remember Allah with patience, and you stand to Allah and speak to Him directly. Is Allah healing a physical illness also? Like, is He healing cancer? Is He healing... No, no. What I'm saying is Allah can heal anything. Anything, okay. A cancerous patient, he can heal. But we don't go about like Christians do. Oh, there you go. Let me go to the hospital and cure. Because if I, I actually work in a hospital. Oh, do you? If I ask, bring your healers and cure those people with cancer, you would fail. I can challenge you. Who wants to accept the challenge? Do you know anyone in your church who can heal? Then come to my hospital and heal those. I would children. like to come. Right, can come. Where? I will tell you off camera. Okay. Right? You can come to this hospital and see if it, if it can cure. Because if you can cure, good. But I know from experience, a number of people I've spoken to, the healers, mm -hmm. that when it comes to practical demonstration of healing, they don't do that. They only do on stage, on TV, so mm -hmm. TV healers and so on and so forth. Okay. Not in real life. So. And then, But I wanted to ask about, uh, specific about Islam and Quran. How do you... Um, how do you deal with that? Where is in Quran are the scriptures, for example, about the healing? Like, obviously, I understand yeah, that says, then when the you Quran believe the truth, the truth shifa will... Yeah. The Quran itself says it itself is a shifa, a medicine, a cure. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I understand. And, for example, if you have, like, uh, terminal illnesses, like, you know, somebody's dying of cancer, obviously you work in the hospital, so you've seen a lot of this. So, what uh, are you, as a, uh, like, Muslim minister, doing Muslim for those people? Muslim chaplains can go there, okay. and then they can remember, remind them of God, re recite Do you them pray for, for healing, or how do you do that? No, I'm saying, they can, the chaplains, who is yes. their official job for that, mm -hmm. they can go to a terminally ill patient, mm -hmm. and they can remind them of God and read the Quran, and it will help soothe and settle the heart. We have seen many examples in which a baby, for example, mm -hmm. crying, crying so much, put the Quran on. Same thing, it, same thing happens with the, the Bible. Um, so basically, um, that's, we'll that's, that's how so, so, so this is how the Quran affects even a child. The Bible changes Imagine the life so, from inside so out, much not from outside in. Put the Quran on and you'll see the effect it has. So the Quran has so by, such a uh, powerful effect on the heart. It changes life altogether. Mm -hmm. When you read the Quran... But for example, if somebody is lying in coma in the hospital, so do you send, uh, like your uh, minister will go there to, like what they do? Depends they pray on the wishes for of the patients and parents. Okay, so if they want... It depends on their, parents, their, their wishes. Okay. Because someone who's comatose, they are not able to speak to you what, what they need. So if the relatives want, a Muslim chaplain to go there and, and uh, what, to what do they do? Like, what do you do in that uh, instance? Do you pray over them? Do you, to, to uh, you, read you the may have Quran? a to you, you may have a prescribed pr mechanical prayer to us. The Quran itself is healing, okay. so all they need to do is at that point, while he's comatose or she's comatose, to remind them that they should remind themselves that there is none worthy of worship except Allah, and mm -hmm. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Mm -hmm. To keep reminding them until their life is expired from this world. So this is the most important because you need to die on the faith in which you have not associated partner with God, you have not rejected. I'm just telling you, you want to end your life from this world when the time comes not yourself but time will come you will die no one can forward it an hour or delay it an hour or a second our death is fixed 
So when that time comes, we want to make sure that we die on a state of worshiping none but God. So you have to make but sure. But if, if, for example, that you I give you a specific scenario, like specific scenario, yes, like um, somebody who is a Muslim is, is lying in coma in the hospital, yes, and what um, in Muslim faith, what do you do for those people? And if they, so the, is the, the Muslim minister? Chaplains yes, can have a whole program of what to read. But the most important fact is to remind. But how can you individual. remind the person who is in a coma, for example? Like, do they? Do they, do they? Yes. But do they go there and read Quran, or do they uh, lie hands on the person? Do they pray for the person? How does it work? No, I'm just telling you. It yeah. all depends. If the family is happy, for yes. example, the Imam, the Muslim chaplain, whether she's woman or woman, they can go there and start reading the Quran or many supplications from the Quran and the authentic hadith teachings of the Prophet Muhammad mm -hmm. but most importantly out of all that as someone is about to die it's important to remind them to die while reciting saying in the heart in the tongue or in their mind this statement of faith La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah wa ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah that I bear witness there's nothing no deity worthy of worship except God Allah alone and I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah because once you die on that faith Jahannam which is what hell is forbidden God would not put you into hellfire even if you did something wrong and you are punished in hellfire eventually you will come out and you will be through the mercy of God, through the grace of God, to paradise, which he's prepared for those who have the correct belief in him. Anyone who believes that God is a tripod or a camera or a tree or a woman or a man, rat, monkey, whatever, God will not put them into paradise because God says he forgives all sins except one. Imagine the grievous sin that one can commit and if they die on that, God will never forgive. He warns again and again, the most grievous, the magnanimous sin in the sight of God that he will never forgive is associating partner with God, like a son or a daughter or a brother or a mother or anything of the creation. You have to worship God alone because he is one and only and self-sufficient. That was the message of all the prophets and all the messengers. Nothing new in Islam in terms of this message. Mm -hmm. So we have to make sure when we die, and we don't know when we're going to die. I can die the next minute, you can die the next minute. But we have to make sure that we die on the state of submission to our God, worshipping Him alone. That is the message of Islam. Mm -hmm. Your heart will be cured in this life if you believe in that already, because it will manifest you on your actions, how you feel, happy and joy and no anxiety, no depression. That's why if you think about suicides, you know who is committing suicide in the largest numbers? Not the Muslims. What are, what are ignorance in Iraq? It's not Muslims. It is those people who are atheists and nihilists and so on. If you go there in some eastern countries and so on and so forth. Because for them, yeah. the material world they rejected, is not... They rejected God and yes, yeah, yes. the oppression That's why is coming. Their depression is so much because they have not, when they realize what awaits them, nothing. Yes. When they die, nothing. Yes. Absolutely. And they get so much depressed in this nihilism yes. that they suffer this anxiety. So that's why when you have the belief in your heart that God alone is worthy of worship, yes. you will feel so much tranquility in your heart. And when you reject any associates with God and say nothing worthy of worship, and that's why you'll be interested to find out in Islam, when somebody wants to become a Muslim, they go through a process of negation and affirmation. Negation is nothing is worthy of worship. Only Stone, God. tree, man, whatever you can imagine, nothing is worthy of worship. Mm. And then you make an affirmation. Only, only God. Only God. Yes. When you do that, you automatically realize I am not going to be a slave to economic machinery. I am not going to be a slave to my desires. I'm not going to be a slave to fashion. I'm not going to be a slave to football stars and pop stars and celebrities. You will only be a slave. To God, yes, I agree on that one, hundred for hundred percent, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read because I want to get familiar with the. Uh, I can't uh, discuss more because yeah. when we kept on because of the hecklers, the discuss, sometimes it can be heated like this. But please reflect and read the Quran. I will, yes. Yeah, yeah. yes. Find out what it says about the concept of God.
about Christ, about the mother of Christ. I have a, um, I have a Muslim friend, so I speak with them about God. I was working with Muslim people, so we discussed this, and um, I was asking about Jesus, so my friend was sending me some stuff about, you know, uh, this to watch, and I want to, I want to just get to because know. Uh, if you really want the personal relationship and this happiness in the heart, I have that happiness. No, no, I have that happiness. I'm not saying yeah. you don't, but mm -hmm. when you have the Quran and we don't understand and the new authentically worshiping God alone, mm -hmm. your level of happiness will be elevated. And I agree with you that uh, only God can be worshipped, nothing else. Exactly. I 100% exactly. agree with that. Exactly. Yes. You take care. You take care, thank you. Also, listen to the Quran. So, Say on, it again. On YouTube, listen to Quran. Reciters. Oh, sorry. Listen to Quran, being recited. Okay. That's, that's a healer on itself. Mm -hmm. As I said in this conversation uh, that I had with Masood, um, I think there is no point of having intellectual discussions like that. Um, I believe that God is powerful and He can protect Himself. He doesn't need us arguing. He doesn't need us to protect the truth because truth will protect itself. Jesus is the truth and He is the light. He's the way. He's my Savior, my Lord. He's my healer. So my personal experience with Christ is my personal experience that changed my life forever. And I want people to experience the change of life that I experienced. So for me, having discussion about you know, intellectual things, about the wisdom of man, and God said in his word that wisdom of, um, wisdom of man is foolish to him. So I, I believe that we just have to focus on, on God himself and focus on truth, Jesus Christ. And through the power of the Holy Spirit, we will bring change to this world. Um, I want to pray for Muslim people. I want to uh, pray for their healing. I want to pray. Uh, I want them to be free from oppression, from sadness, depression, you know, anxiety. Uh, and this is what I want to bring to to all the people. It doesn't matter if the person is Muslim or Christian or coming from Hindu background. Um, the only thing I want is I want people to experience the love of God and freedom because Christ, God, Holy Spirit, God three in one is all about freedom. It's all about deliverance from, from oppression of the enemy. And all of us, we have, we have the same enemy. Doesn't matter if you are Christian, if you are Muslim, if you are Hindu, we have one enemy and we should unite together as people of God and just fight the enemy together. And the enemy is the devil. So by that, I believe that, you know, by sharing love and loving people. And this is, instead of arguing, I would not, I would not, um, I would not do this. Um, I would not have this kind of discussion anymore. And um, because I feel they are pointless, I'm not here to argue. Uh, to be honest, this is the first time that I had this kind of experience. Uh, I was always too shy and too afraid to speak publicly. I never, I've never done it. So this was the first time that I actually encounter a um, conversation like that in public, which was very intense for me. Um, but I believe that um, arguing like that is not making anything and is not bringing Christ to people. And I think next time I would just uh, spend time praying for people and loving them. Uh, like Christ came to this earth to love people and the only thing that we can do is just surrender to, to God, surrender to, to Jesus Christ and receive the power of the Holy Spirit that is changing our life and yes, that's what I wanted to, to say. <laughs> Thank you Mimi.